Amen. You may be seated. Um, for congregational prayer this morning, we have, um, we have a couple things that we want to, of course, be aware of and be praying about. Um, first of all, we want to uh, praise God that Hank is feeling much better and has been uh, out and about doing his various tasks this week, and we are very grateful that you are back here with us this morning. So, yay! <clears throat> Um, so, yeah, we are very grateful for that. Also, in terms of congregational prayer, uh, we want to pray very much for all of those who have been affected by the, uh, the, the storm that we had uh, yesterday just so violently and quickly. Um, I understand that four people throughout the, the province passed away uh, because of it, um, but also lots and lots of damage to homes and businesses and uh, so on. So, um, yeah, we'll be in prayer for that as well. Also, our offering for this morning is for uh, for True North Aid. Um, so Chris's brother, uh, Ken, works for True North Aid, and uh, they, they bring uh, humanitarian relief uh, and help to those who are uh, in the north of our country. Uh, and it is a tremendous and wonderful ministry, and one that is very badly needed. And so we would ask that you would consider your giving carefully there and cheerfully as well. So the way it's going to work is we're going to have congregational prayer, then a children's message briefly, and then we'll send the kids off for Sunday school and collect the offering. Uh, that way, uh, I think, I hope it all works out well. So, <clears throat> all right, let's come to God in a congregational prayer. Father in heaven, we thank you again so much for bringing us together. We pray, O oh God, that you will be with each and every one of us and those who could not be here this morning for whatever reason as well. We pray that you will provide all of us in this world to come constantly closer to you with your spirit and the message of the gospel and through your great love. Lord, we pray that you would convict us of our sins, O oh God, where we need it, and that you would encourage us in perseverance where we need that. Lord, we pray that your holiness and your righteousness and your mercy and love would accompany us all the days of our lives. Father, for this world, we continue to pray, of course, for the conflict in Ukraine. We pray, O oh Lord, for the the brewing difficulties between the Palestinians and the Israelis again with regards to this journalist who was shot recently. We pray, O oh God, for the many people who suffered losses throughout this the past storm that we had just yesterday, O oh God, whether they be property losses or damage or whether they be loss of lives. Lord, we pray that you would comfort and strengthen those who mourn, and that you would support those who have faced these losses. Father, we pray for, uh, we pray for Hank, and we thank you very much that he is uh, here with us again and doing well. We pray, O oh God, not only, of course, for him, but for all of those among us who either struggle with heat or who are struggling with chronic illness or who struggle with just life circumstances, uh, Lord, we pray that you would encourage and strengthen us. Help us, O oh God, to take care of ourselves as we ought, which is sometimes very difficult. Lord, we pray too that you will be with our children as they head off in a few minutes to Sunday school. We pray that you will bless them there, bless our teachers as they lead that group. And Lord, we pray too that you will be with True North Aid. We thank you so much for the work that Ken and the others involved in that ministry are able to do. Lord, we pray that this ministry, along with many others, would also help to bring reconciliation between indigenous and First Nations, and Inuit peoples, and, uh, and other Canadians. Lord, we pray, we pray too, that you would guide us 
as we come in your scriptures to the sermon. Lord, we pray that you would open up our hearts there as well, that we would hear what you would have us hear. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 